Alrighty, so Amusement Insiders has hit its one year anniversary today, and what better way to celebrate than launching our petition for a better Marineland. So for those of you that don't know, Marineland is not going through the best of times right now. So I just want to stress, I don't know any of this stuff to be factual. I'm just going to go over the controversy surrounding Marineland very quickly and then touch on why we're starting this whole petition and cause. So Marineland has been surrounded by um, animal abuse allegations, mass grave allegations, um, and just like not taking care of their animals as a whole the way they should be allegations, I guess. Um, I don't know if those are true. I'm going to honestly state my own opinion on the matter. Um, I definitely think they are kind of true, but again, that's my personal opinion. I just think that Marineland isn't the best park for taking care of animals, and uh, it's very unfortunate, and I think they're paying the price of that with declining attendance. Um, and uh, there's a lot of bad karma with the park. So, you know, they have one of their most recent purchases, a Topple Tower ride, and it doesn't work at all, um, which is super unfortunate since that is one of their newest investments. Um, and then on top of it, you kind of have like um, the park's just not the most beautiful on the inside. It's a thousand plus acres. So you have to walk very long distances to get to attractions. Um, and then the more recently, uh, you know, the owner of uh, Marineland has passed away, unfortunately. Um, no one deserves that. So that's really sad. And I have a feeling that he was the stronghold in keeping Marineland afloat. So now the question arises, does the family want to keep the park afloat? Are they going to waste their own money to keep this park going? And I honestly don't think so. It's not smart business wise. The park is a failing business model. Um, you have the bird sanctuary that is now not going to happen. That was supposed to be new for 2019. Um, the owners died. Um, there's a lot of bad you know media on the park lots of people aren't going there anymore they were only having 250,000 guests visit the park um anyways compared to canada's wonderland which sees like 3 million 700,000 probably 4 million in 2019 with winterfest and yukon striker so it's just a failing business model and it's a thousand plus acres can you imagine what could be um in this location other than marine land that's where we come in i know from a business standpoint, that what's going to happen is Marineland's probably going to be sold and you're going to see Niagara probably sell the land to something like, or Marineland sell the land to something like a casino or a Chinese billionaire who's going to build condos, casinos, entertainment districts that have nothing to do um, or benefit the region as a whole. And this land could be much better um, suited for something like a Disneyland Canada, Universal Canada, SeaWorld Canada or even Merlin Entertainment. So what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is we have a petition um, and we have a team out in New York State that's gonna help us get this message out. We're gonna work here with our team to get the message out. We're gonna talk to people like Doug Ford. We're gonna talk to the New York Senate, uh, New York's house, like through email. We're gonna do whatever we can to get the message out there that a theme park like Disneyland Universal with the right encouragement could suit this 1,000 acres very well. A park in the Great Lakes region that would help people who really can't afford to go to Disney World or Florida right now via flight or currency exchange have a better opportunity here to visit. It would benefit Disney or Universal or SeaWorld to have a park up here um, to encourage people to go here. You have Toronto, all of Ontario, all of Canada, New York State, and the Great Lake region's population at your forehand or at your disposal to come visit the park. You could have attendance figures between four to 10 million with the right branded name. This is why I am petitioning people like Disney World or Disneyland, SeaWorld, Merlin Entertainment, and Universal Studios to show some interest in this land. It would be so awesome to have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter up here in Niagara or Disneyland Canada or SeaWorld Niagara all here for Canadians and Americans right on the border. This is a very quick drive for a lot of people in New York State. It's right on the border. You could have resorts. Again, you can fit 100. Um, sorry, you can fit not 100. You can fit 10 Magic Kingdom-sized theme parks on this land. That's insane. So all I'm asking you guys to do 
is click the link down below, sign our petition. We're going to get the petition to the right people. We're going to get more signatures in Toronto, Canada, Ontario, all of a whole. People are going to get signatures in New York and the States, anywhere to get a better theme park here in Niagara region. This is very close for Americans and Canadians, and it just makes sense. So all I'm asking you guys to do is click the link below, sign that petition, share the petition for your friends and family on any social media platform you have. We have many videos coming out from Amusement Insiders discussing on what we could see. We have renderings, okay? We're working on some renderings to show you what we think a Disneyland Canada would look like or Disneyland Niagara. Uh, we're going to show you what Universal maybe Niagara would look like too, SeaWorld Niagara. We're going to show you anything possible to entice you guys to sign this petition and join the Amusement Insiders cause to show the Niagara region and other people that may be involved that we don't need more casinos or condos um, on Marineland and we need a better theme park in the area. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And please don't forget to share the petition. Comment down below what you guys would rather see. Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, or Merlin Entertainment. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.